Hello and welcome to yet another episode of codeinpractice.com. In this episode, I will tell you how to write, compile and run your first Java program. Now, all our development work should be done in a directory which will have all our development files and everything. So, let's just create a directory. I'm just going to create it on the desktop. You can create it anywhere else that you wish. And I'm just going to call it Java Dev. Now inside Java Dev, you can see that there is nothing much. So let's just create a file. And uh, let us just open this with gedit. And let's write our first program. So we need to write class definition. Now to write the class definition uh, we need to write the keyword class. Uh, what the class definition is and what the class means we'll get into that later but right now I just want you to write this code as it is and run it so that you would be familiar with the process of compiling and running a program. So class hello and then a starting and a closing brace this uh, starting and closing brace marks the beginning and the end of the body of our program or of this particular class. Uh, inside this press tab once and then write public static wide main and within brackets write string brackets arg and then we need to give a starting and a closing curly brace to signify the body of the main method and within that we will give the instruction that we wish to execute which is Um, this line is the instruction which is used to print a simple text on our screen uh, which is system.out.println. We will get into the details of all this in the further lectures. Right now all you need to do is copy and paste this code into your file. So let's just save this and it has been already saved. Uh, but what we need to do is that save it in a different name. Uh, right now it's saved as new file but we don't want to do that. We want to give it a different name. So to do that click on file and click on save as. Now the name that we need to give this file uh, is of importance. Uh, there's a rule to naming files in Java. If your file contains a class which contains the main method in our case we have a class called hello and the main method is contained within that. So the name of the file that we have to save will be hello.java. Also notice that the hello over here and the hello over here are both exactly the same. The edge has been capitalized. Uh, this is another rule that you must remember in Java. Uh, that capitalization matters. So these are two rules. One rule is that if you have a class in which the main method is residing then the name of the class uh, or I'm sorry the name of the file it should be the name of the class followed by the jo dot java prefix uh, suffix sorry and the capitalization of the letters should be exactly the same so let's save this file click save and as you can see that some highlighting has been done for us uh, some words have been highlighted and some have not. Why it is so, we will see that in due course of time. So let's just close this and uh, let's remove this redundant file. Uh, all we have now is the Java source file or the source code. What we need to do is compile this and generate an executable file which will be run on the Java virtual machine. So to do that, let us 
open up our command window. Now, let's navigate to this folder, the Java dev folder, and we need to issue the command Java C, which is the Java compiler, and give it the hello uh, hello dot Java file. To do that, just write hello dot Java. Press enter. And if there are no errors, we should get the command prompt back. Now, you need to look at what happened in the background. Uh, a file has been generated called hello.class, which is the class file. And this is also called the bytecode. Um, the Java C took the source file, the hello.java, this file, and then it compiled it into the bytecode, which is over here. And if we run this bytecode on the Java virtual machine, we will get the out desired output, which is a line on the screen, which says, hello, YouTube. So to do that, we need to write this line, Java, which means we are calling, we want to call the Java runtime environment or the Java virtual machine. And then we write the hello. Uh, we need to give it the name of the class file but we don't need to give it the dot class extension because then that will result in an error all we need to give the java runtime environment is the name just the name of the bytecode so java hello will work for us we'll press enter and as you can see it says hello youtube which was the instruction that we gave which was to print hello youtube on the screen so this is what we need to do this is the procedure that we need to follow when we have to write and compile and run any java program and this will be similar for all other programs that we'll be doing in the later lectures so that's it for now and thank you for viewing